Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and like always, I'm Brian. So, a while back I did a video using a Samsung SSD and the Samsung migration software to show people how to use it to clone a hard drive. It had a lot of questions about that in general that I'm frankly tired of repeatedly answering, so I thought I should make a video explaining hard drives as simply as possible, as fast as possible, and also explaining how cloning works, at least in this situation. And I'm going to be doing it today with a little bit of Chanley style. Got a lot of visual aids with me today. So this, this is your standard hard drive, okay? There's moving parts in it, it spins, it saves your data, and it's probably the cheapest thing in the market right now for saving information. Inside of it are pieces like this, like a platter, which is basically a metal disc. It also has giant powerful magnets. So, let's see. I hope you guys heard that snap against my metal desk. Now, you can't see it because this looks very, very smooth, but on this platter are probably billions of little like divots, and they can each hold an electron, either a positive or a negative electron. Sometimes it's usually just negative electrons and empty space. Depends on the hard drive, okay? But that's stepping into something uh, a little bit out of the bounds of what I'm trying to explain right now. So just imagine there's little tiny holes everywhere, and sometimes there's stuff in it, and sometimes there isn't, okay? And the way hard drives store information is ones and zeros. So the empty hole is a zero, and the hole with something in it is a one, okay? And so it can store billions upon billions of ones and zeros. And that is basically how it stores your data. Now, we also have things like SSDs and M.2 SSDs, which they work slightly differently. They're not as uh, old as this, but basically there's little square silicon pieces, and in each of the pieces, there's like a tiny switch. We'll call this the switch. And you've got switched on and switched off. And basically that's how it stores the information. Switched off is a zero, switched on is a one, or whatever. Don't quote me on that, just follow along. And so, switch, 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 snap. Okay, the SSD's broken. They've done a lot in manufacturing these better so that this doesn't happen as often and things like that. So SSDs are not really the best for reading and writing and deleting like your standard hard drive is, okay? And so that's basically how everything is stored. We can also get into caching and things like that, but that's just a hole I don't want to go into. But you guys get the basic idea. You have your song, your song's ones and zeros, you put your song on here, it saves it. You put your program on here, it's also ones and zeros, and let's just stick with the ones and zeros and everything's ones and zeros and is saved on your platters and there's little arms that swing out and write down your information in ones and zeros okay so the migration program that samsung uses will copy your active c drive okay so here's your active c drive boom 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 you know the operating system's running and it goes and it copies the whole thing okay and then it puts it onto an ssd in the exact same way that it read it so it will copy your files your operating system everything now in the warning it says to not have any programs open because it may cause the programs to fail or not copy properly so two things one Always restart your computer and don't open any programs before you do a cloning. It's your best option, okay? There will not be, there will be much like, less likely of things running in the background than if you just had your computer on all day and you did a bunch of stuff and then decided to clone. And now let me explain this. This is your reason too. Let's say you have Word open or like Notepad and you're writing something, okay? While that program is open, the file that is holding your written notes is actively being used by the program and cannot be accessed by any other user. So in this instance, when you're cloning, 
right here, let's say this is your Word document where my finger is, and it's actively being used. And so let's say my fingers can't be moved because it's my program, don't touch it. It's my notepad, don't touch it. So you got the cloning program over here while you're writing, writing, writing. It's over here reading and reading and reading and reading and reading and it gets here and it can't read it. So it skips over it and just keeps reading and reading and reading and reading. Now, just to keep it basic, now you've cloned your hard drive minus that file. So when you go and open up your computer, when it's cloned and the new hard drive has taken its place, or I'm sorry, the new SSD has taken the place of your hard drive, that file did not get copied. It still exists over here, but it didn't make it to this one because you were actively using it. And that's what you have to worry about. You don't have to worry about it not copying your operating system, okay? There are very smart people out there that designed it to copy all your files and all your operating system and everything, every one in zero. It doesn't matter what one in zero it is, as long as it's not actively being used, it's designed to copy the whole thing, okay? So there's no fear of losing your operating system. They made this as simplified as possible. Well, it's probably not simple. They probably made it as complicated as possible to make your life as easy as possible. So there's no reason to be scared about cloning your hard drives as long as you do it the right way. So that's reboot your computer, make sure everything's closed, clone, do not touch anything. Your computer is the no-touchy zone once you start cloning because you don't want to accidentally misplace a file or cause something to be corrupted, okay? And then once it's swapped out, you can have your computer again. It's as simple as that. I hope the explanation worked for you guys and it made a lot of sense. Um, if you have any more questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer questions about this. Do not answer. Do not ask me about caching. That is a whole nother wormhole, and if enough people ask, maybe I'll make a second video about it. And maybe maybe we'll do a whole like series about this of me breaking down different parts of a computer Barney style, okay? But either way, if you like this video and helped you, make sure to give it a thumbs up, please. Uh, subscribe to my channel to get more information like this, other computer builds, just overall general things that are on my channel. If you want to know when I'm producing videos, please subscribe and you'll get notifications. All my social medias are in the description, so feel free to follow me, you know, like my page and all that stuff, and contact me there as well. This was cloning a hard drive and hard drives explained as fast and as easily as possible. Done Shanley style.